Okay, in this video I'm going to cover how to translate words into math equations and specifically create systems of equations by doing so. Okay? And these particular examples are going to cover what I call two by two systems. In other words, we're going to try to find two equations from the words, each of which contains two variables. Okay, and that's what two by two means, two equations with two variables. When I usually do these kind of problems, uh, there's a couple of tricks that I try to keep in mind. And one of them is that each sentence usually is an equation. All right, so each uh, English sentence is one equation. At least if it's, uh, oh, I didn't write that correctly, equation. There we go. So at least if these are done uh, with any kind of uh, good English written into them, that's usually what happens, okay? And then I also look for certain words, uh, look for certain words, let me just write this in here, and the words are is the same as, or the word equals, and you can imagine what that translates into when you go from words into math, right? And th those all mean the same thing. Um, the word and obviously usually means plus, uh, less than, this one's a little tricky. Less than sometimes means minus, but it also sometimes means that, less inequality. So you have to be, you have to read that in the context of what's going on in the problem, okay? So with that in mind, let's take a quick look at this particular problem and let's see if we can use some of our hints over here, all right? So it says, a coin collection is made up of 34 coins comprised of nickels and dimes. Okay, so that should be one sentence. That is one sentence, rather. It should be one equation. It seems like the nickels and dimes, nickels and dimes is 34 coins. So there's our first equation. We've translated it right off the bat. And once you've done a translation, what I usually find is a nice little trick again to do is to cross out the sentence that you translated. And then when you're finally done crossing everything out, you should be at the end of your, your sentence there, or your end of your system. Now this one's a little tricky. The total value of the collection is $1.90. Now, $1.90. So we know that is $1.90 goes here. We know that we have two variables, nickels and dimes, don't we? But how much is a nickel worth? How much is a dime worth? And that's why we will get how much it's worth, if that makes sense. So I really need to multiply this nickels by 0 0.05. Now why 0 0.05? Because that's the same uh, number of decimals I have over here. And it's the same thing with dimes. It's 0 0.10 dimes. And notice now that I've created, and then I cross those out, and then the question, usually the last question is, how many dimes and nickels make up this collection? So this is kind of what we're looking for. We want to find a value for the D and the N. So with this translation, let's go ahead and start solving it. I can use a variety of ways of doing this. I can use elimination. I can use substitution. Let's just go ahead and use elimination here. So I'm just going to go point a negative 0 0.05 times a negative 0 0.05 here, and I'm going to multiply this 34 by a negative 0 0.05. Okay. And once I've done that, let's go put this down here. I get negative 0.05n plus negative 0.05d is equal to, let me just use my calculator real quickly, and 0 0.05 times 34. Uh, hold on, just give me one second. Should give me a negative 1.7, all right? And then I use this one again for my second equation. 
and then a dollar ninety here. So, in terms of elimination, I'm going to add both of these equations. Those disappear. Here I'm going to get point zero five d, and here I'm going to get point two zero. Looks like I'm going to come up with a nice even number. Fourth, I'm going to divide both sides by point zero five. So point two zero divided by point zero five will give me four. D is equal to four. Now once you've done that, once you've found out how many dimes you have in the collection, let's go back to the original equation. Okay, so in my second paragraph, I'm going to call this my first paragraph, and that's figuring out one of the variables. In the second paragraph, I'm going to say D equals 4, and then I'm going to find N, and I'm going to use the equation that we originally had, n plus d was equal to 34. Let's go ahead and substitute. n plus 4 is equal to 34. And then finally, n is equal to 30. And that would be my answer in my third paragraph. Again, it, 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 even though it's easy to see what the answer here is, it's really important to represent this very cleanly, okay? So, nickels. I have 30 of them. Dimes. I have 4. Let's just check that to see if this is actually true, okay? 4 times 10 gives me 40 cents. 30 times 5 gives me 150. 150 plus 40 gives me 190. So the check actually works. Okay? So I hope that was helpful. Again, the, some of the tricks that I've learned, like I mentioned before, is that each sentence is usually one equation. You look for certain words like is the same as equals, uh, and it means plus, obviously, less than, it, it, a little trickier, it either means minus or less than inequality. And you usually try to set these up into what they call systems of equations. Okay? I hope that was helpful.